webshops on the internet, especially Chinese webshops, sell these um, well, so-called trigram dice. These. And um, they are relatively affordable and um, they can be purchased on uh, websites like AliExpress and similar sites. Uh, but they don't really come with a manual on how to use them. Uh, there are websites that give instructions in Chinese on how you can, can use these, but when you purchase them, um, well, they don't tell you uh, how you um, can um, use them for Yijin consultations. Well, a few years ago I bought quite a lot of these dice and I sold them in my own personal network. And actually I uh, still have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> I still have quite a lot of um, um, su supply here. <laughs> um, and um, well, the, the reason why I sold these is that as you probably might know by now, is that I'm, I'm really fond of trigrams and how you can use them in Yijin consultations. And these dice can help you to work with trigrams. Uh, so that, that's the reason why I sold them. And, and I sold them with this very cheap pouch, which is really a dust magnet. It's terrible, but ah oh well. It was nice, but the, the whole process of packaging and shipping, it was really too, uh, too much work and um, well, you, don't, you can't really make <laughs> a lot of money with this stuff. That, that was never the intention anyway. So, um, but I um, developed my own way of using these trigram dies. So I must emphasize that this is my way and it's not the way, there isn't really a way to use them. When you look on internet then and, and, and these Chinese websites that give some instructions, they will tell you that you just use two of these dice and uh, the way they, um, they, they fall on the table the, that makes a hexagram and then you use a normal uh, dice with the dots, the western dice, to um, get one and always one and uh, not more than one moving line, uh, which is a method that is, is fine, but um, uh, didn't really sit well with me because I thought, well, it should be possible to get multiple moving lines or no moving lines. And when you use a six-sided die, dice, that's not really possible. So um, I, I invented my own way, and maybe you find that uh, useful, this, this method. For this method that, that I made up, you need four dice, four of these. Uh, oh, by the way, it is best to purchase quite a lot of these dice, and um, often they come in sets of ten, because um, often the printing isn't really well. There are some... Um, errors or si simply bad, um, bad, bad printing on these dice. Like these two examples, I mean this, this one isn't really um, as good as it should be and this one is missing one of the parts of a yin line. So just purchase quite a lot of them and <laughs> I'm sure you will find a good set between them. So how do, you, do I use these dice? Well, I use four of them and um, I just shake them in my hands and normally I sit at a table and I put my hands with the dice under the table and I grab one of the dice and put it in front of me. Ta -da! This is the lower trigram. Then I shake the dice again and get another one. and. This is the upper trigram. Well, it's as easy as that. So, um, but of course, it's also possible that when you grab one of these dice blind, then it ends up like this. You put it in front of you and it is turned 90 degrees. 
So um, when that happens, that means you uh, might get a moving trigram. Well, first get uh, the, the upper trigram. Ta -da. This one is positioned normal, so that trigram isn't changing, but the lower trigram is changing. That means that for that trigram, I need to get another dice. And I'm going to put that one there. The upper trigram isn't changing, so I'm just going to use the the one dice that is left over and copy the upper trigram like that. And this one I'm going to turn anti-clockwise. So that is how I um, arrive at changing trigrams and changing lines. So another example. Suppose I get, I, I, I grab one of the dice and it ends up like this. Then it means that's a changing trigram. Well, let's do it again. Oh dear, another changing trigram. So you just have to grab these dice um, blind. So you, you're not going to see how they will end up at the, at, the, at the table. So for these two trigrams, I need to get another trigram for the moving trigrams. And there we go. Well, you see that this one is also uh, turned. Um, but since that's the second uh, hexagram. I'm just going to turn that like that. And the same goes for these. So that is how I arrive at uh, these, these changing trigrams and changing lines. So just another example. Oh dear, <laughs> another changing trigram. <laughs> And this one is normal. Well, the top trigram isn't changing, so I'm just going to use the last dice to copy that trigram. So, and this one is going to be turned anti-clockwise. So, ta-da. So, um, as you might understand with these dice is that um, there are only six sides and eight trigrams on them. Um, but that means that the asymmetrical trigrams can actually be two trigrams. You have trigram thunder here, but it can also be mountain. And um, you have trigram wind here, which can also be lake. So uh, while the, the other four trigrams, they are symmetrical and they can only represent uh, one trigram. So th that means that statistically speaking, um, the trigrams which are symmetrical uh, have a bigger chance of showing up than the asymmetrical trigrams. Do I think that's a problem? No, not really. But since these symmetrical trigrams play an important role in uh, Taoist Naidan practice, as can be seen in works like the Chan Tong Chi, I uh, sold these dice under the name of uh, Taoist Naidan dice. So just to, uh, to give it um, a name. So, um, and um, I know that there are people who don't really feel comfortable with this idea that certain trigrams might show up more often than other trigrams. They prefer to have an even chance of all the, uh, the eight trigrams showing up. Um, personally, I don't think that is an, an, an issue. Every method has its own probability and its own consequences. If you are able to accept these consequences, then every method will work 
fine. So um, personally, it doesn't bother me that I can get more hexagrams with trigram fire and water and 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 earth and, and heaven. I, I mean, you always get what you need. At least that's my belief or assumption. Um, so the, these dice always work fine for me. So anyway, I hope this um, video, um, which was very improvised, <laughs> um, is useful for you. If you have other ways of using these uh, dice, mm, yeah, let me know in the comments. And if you have other kind of dice or other methods, um, well, be curious to, uh, to know about them. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.